Hey, Cal Paralyzed Math and History, and we're gonna be learning about making the equation, and we have to solve it. So in this video, we're gonna look at a word problem based off of equations on algebra, and what we're gonna have to do is come up with an equation and we normally solve it, because the hardest part of algebra is probably thinking and thinking about coming up with the equation to solve. So here is our problem. Our problem is, you are working with the hosting country, the USA, to host an IMO. The IMO is called the International Mathematical Olympiad. So pretty much it's a giant math contest so many kids from around the world can join this contest and have fun with math. It's an international contest. To join the IMO, it costs $9 per participant to join the contest. So in order to get in the contest, you have to pay $9 for a registration fee. The IMO lasts for a few days, so they have to stay at a hotel. The cost for that hotel is $116 per participant. That is very expensive. While that is all happening, the hosting country, the USA, spends $5,000 on the entire contest. So pretty much when a, when a country is hosting the IMO, they actually have to spend a minimum total of $5,000. That's for the hosting country. 4250 of those dollars were spent on maintenance fees and construction. So before the IMO, they have to spend money on building the setup, building the stage, getting the cameras ready, constructing the TV screens, and getting anything else ready, and... And what we're trying to calculate is how many participants joined the IMO USA team. So how many people joined the USA team? So let's start on the first page. It says that it costs $9 per participant to register into the contest. So pretty much we're going to say $9 per participant. What we're going to try and do is use a variable because the question is telling us how many participants joined the USA team. So we're going to use the variable known as X as a letter and that is going to mean people who joined the IMO team. But it's actually a number of people who join the team. So, since we have that, $9 per participant, now we have 9x. So every participant that joins, they must pay a fee of $9. But, since it's in another country, the IMO is in a different country, other people that are not from the USA, that are from different countries, will stay half, they will have to stay in the hotel. So pretty much that is $116 per participant. So then we have to add that by 116x. Each, pe each person staying at the hotel must pay $116 for the hotel. Then we have on the second page, while that was happening, the hosting country, the USA, spends $5,000 on the entire contest. So that's going to mean 
that all this is going to equal to 5000 because that includes the hotel price, the maintenance cost, and the registration fee. But the maintenance cost was 4250 So we're going to put that right next to the equal sign. $4,250 just for getting this contest ready and the technology ready. So there we have it. What we did is found key clues from the word problem and we came up with an equation that can explain everything. Let's try and solve this equation that we have just made. So we have made the equation. Now we have to solve it. So here's our equation. 9x plus 116x plus 4,250 equals 5,000. How many people joined the USA team? So what we can do is we can combine like terms as our first step. We have 9x and 116x. What we can do to them is add them to get 125x. That's because they're both x's. We can't combine like terms with this number or that number because that would tell us that we're adding apples and oranges, which we can't. But with the variables adding apples and apples, that can add us to get up to apples. So we have 125x plus 4,250 equal 5,000. And what we just did is make the equation smaller. What we're going to try and do as our answer is get x alone as x equals like x equals 5 or x equals 7 or x equals 10. We just want a variable and a number. So we're getting close. What we can do after that is since that we want a number on one side and an x on the other side or a variable, that 4,250 should not be there. So what we're going to have to do is minus that by 4,250 and minus that by 4,250 just to get that number up to that side. So when we, we get zero when we do that minus that. But 5,000 minus 4,250 will result in 750. So now we made our equation even smaller. So we have 125x equals 750. There are two more steps to do in order to solve this problem. That 125 is a coefficient. That is the number in front of a variable. But the problem is, we want x equals a number. So pretty much that 125 should not be there. That's why we're going to divide both sides by 125. Because the equation is saying 125 multiplied by our mystery number is going to equal 750. And the opposite of that, to get x alone, is dividing. So 125 divided by 125 is 1. So that cancels out as 1x or x. But 750 divided by 125 is going to be 6. And we have an isolated variable is x is going to be 6. But wait, what does x represent in this problem? Is x planes? Trains, students in a school, cross country runners, math tech. It's a. It's a what? What is this? Oh no, you big lizard double. Never know what it is. Way to go, Rick. No, no, turn him around. Turn him around. Oh, he's putting it back. Here, you're putting it back. Plus is positive, minus is negative. Oh, bless me. <laughs> what is X? So that's why when you're solving a word problem, your math teacher is actually going to ask you to label your answer. 
or they will not understand what X means in your math problem or your word problem. So what does X mean in this word problem? The word problem was asking us is how many participants joined the USA IMO team. So that can tell us that it was six participants. So that is our answer to this problem. But your math teacher may also want you to write a sentence to make sure you understand what you are trying to calculate and what that variable means in a sentence. So we're going to say is six people joined the IMO USA team. That is a sentence that we can write for what X and our variable is and our number. So yeah, we have did it. We have solved this problem. The IMO problem. When you're solving a word problem, what you want to do is find the key clues. Then you get to make your equation. Then the creative equation that you made. Then you get to solve it and find out what X is. And to end the video, let's see the six participants who joined the IMO in 2021. United States of America. Thank you.